Hi you guys, it's me Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be teaching you guys how I edit my videos. A lot of people in the past have asked me what I use to edit my videos, how I edit them, what I use to film, how I film, all of those beginner YouTube questions. Since a lot of people were asking me, I always had to like answer everyone individually and it was kind of like not getting annoying but like in other words I just wanted to make a video for you guys just to start off I use my Canon G7X Mark II camera to film so that's why I have like really good quality on my videos it's just like a normal kind of vlogging camera that literally every youtuber uses a lot of people actually think that like I have a computer and I edit on my computer no I edit everything on my phone so I basically just get my camera kind of transfer it to my phone so I can just edit on there I find it easier to edit on a phone rather than a computer I find it a lot easier especially if you are beginning a YouTube channel so let's just get straight to this video so I'm gonna be like kind of mostly in the side of the frame because I am gonna be showing you guys right here um, so you guys can like see for yourself so I'm going to screen record now and I am going to be going to my editing folder. As you can see, I do have iMovie, Fonto, Glitch Video, Velo, and Eraser. So the two apps that I do use to edit is my iMovie and Velo. I used to use iMovie all the time when I first started my YouTube channel. I mean, it's really good if you are beginning to do YouTube, but I switched to Velo. This is like a way better app, I feel, and it has a lot more stuff that you can use. Both of these apps are are free but for Velo there is an option where you can pay $9.99 for one lifetime purchase to get everything on that app because there is a lot of stuff that you can use on that app um, but you kind of do want to get like the premium premium <laughs> you're only gonna purchase it one time it's not like one of those monthly things so that's why I got it but let me just show you guys how I edit so I'm gonna go on the Velo app so then I'm just gonna go to create video oh my god you can see my literal camera roll okay so I can't really find anything but I'm just going to do this really old video that um, my brother surprised me for my 18th birthday so when you do select your video right there you do want to press this little red area icon right there and then it is going to take you to this page where it says aspect ratio so as you can see the first one is like Instagram but you are gonna go to the third one which is YouTube the content mode is gonna be how much you want the screen to be filled so like fit filled center you always want to do fit so I already do have that on so I'm just gonna press next and then it's gonna load and then it's going to just show you your whole video right there so to start off by editing no one actually just films a video and says oh my god okay it's good I'm going to post it. You always have to like cut scenes because you know people always do say um 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 like myself So you are gonna have to cut scenes so it kind of looks more professional when you're talking So as you can see like no one's talking in this video But I will just kind of like cut some stuff out so you guys can see how to do that So let's see I'll probably like cut out this whole scene of me looking out the window So I am going to click that the video part and there is from the start from now split until now now until the end you always want to do split for that so as you can see those little clips are split and if you do want to delete it there is delete resize layout background animation and mute all that so I'm going to just click delete so you can delete that so now that that is deleted it's not even in the video so it's just like me opening up the door and seeing my brother or whatever I'll probably cut out more just so you guys can see what I'm doing we don't want some people in there or whatever so we'll delete that so yeah it kind of just looks like that honestly this is like the most time consuming part of editing just because you guys want things to be perfect whenever you are going to be editing so I think that's pretty good to me that's nine seconds already there is more options as you can see there's audio sticker text picture in picture and filter I'll just show you guys all of the options so I'm gonna go to audio so the first ones that you see is BGM sound effect and voice BGM is just gonna be some background music sound effects you can add sound effects like clapping people farting any of that and then voice that's just gonna be just a voiceover and so I'm just gonna go to background music and I'm gonna show you guys what they include so they have like new daily vlog kid and pet travel beauty and fashion so I'm just gonna like go to beauty and fashion I guess and just like show you a couple of songs that they have so they have this 
something I wouldn't use personally and I'm just gonna, I don't know, show you this one I guess. Yeah, see, so they have like a lot of music that you can choose. I don't use any of these because I just get my own music from YouTube. But right here, they have some sound effects. So they have like live sounds, transportation, animal, cartoon. They have an option where you have like file, velo, recents, and bookmarks. I usually go to bookmarks because that's like the most sounds that I normally use. So I use like the beep, TV beep, mouse clicks. I use those a lot. You just have to explore the app so you guys can find your own sound. But for the sake of this video, I will show you guys how these sounds work. So they do have short whoosh. So that's what I'll use. So I'm just going to click on that. And after I select this short whoosh, I'm going to press the check mark. And that's going to be added to the clip. For example, it will look like this. <laughs> See? So it basically just kind of depends on where you want to put it. You do always want to place the red line. As you can see, like me moving it, you do always want to put it where you want to put these sounds. But I'm just going to like delete that because I don't really want the short whoosh. But yeah, so since you guys already know how that is, they do have some stickers. They have a lot of motion stickers. I use these a lot when I'm editing. So like, for example, I use this subscribe thing. So I'll kind of minimize it and fit it into the screen. I'll probably only trim it to that much so as you can see i do want it to just click once so when it clicks i'm gonna go to like the middle part of when it barely clicks and i am going to put like that little sound effect so i do like the mouse click and as you can see it looks like the mouse clicked on the subscribe button watch see super cute and so simple i'll go to some stickers so you guys can see what kind of stickers they have they have a lot of stickers i use a lot of the vlog and the sns ones because they do have like a lot of like vlog and like morning stuff let's put like the record button this one's super cute resize it put in the screen as big as you want it you can literally resize it if you also do want like an animation you can go right there and it will like appear faded or appear zoomed in um zoom out so as you can see i'll put like a fade in so there's like the basic suggest on like how you do that so if you do want some text you could put some text there's some basic text right here there's some christmas text caption text vlog text i normally use um just like the basic one so i'm just probably gonna do like tool i guess that's under fashion and beauty i'm gonna put it like in the center right there and as you can see on the bottom where it says delete there's opacity text font style animation arrangement all of that jizz jazz so if i do want to like you know change the text of something i'm gonna go to text and i'll put like um my 18th birthday oh shoot i don't even know how to spell birthday surprise yeah okay so then when that looks too big i'll probably just like resize it um i'll put it like in the middle right there and sometimes i do use like animation so like i'll put like zoom in just so that can look pretty cool and that's like when the text comes in and there's an option where you can put out when the text leaves the clip um there's like slide right side left i'll put like slide left you know just to make it cool so as you can see that's what it looks like my 18th birthday surprise there you can see my brother it's really easy to use you just kind of have to get the hang of it so say if you deleted something but you didn't mean to delete it if i deleted this clip on accident i can go to this arrow right here this is like a back arrow and they do have like a forward one so that's really helpful because i do delete stuff that i don't want to be deleted hold up i need a water right now. So for this video, I will just say that I'm done with it. So once I am done, you are going to go to the top right corner and click like this share kind of thing. And then you will put export. So after it's done exporting, it will go right into your camera roll. So for my music, I always use this app. But where I get my music off of... That's the question. I always go to YouTube. There's a specific guy that I normally use, so I'll always search up Jammy Beats. He has so many beats that you guys can use. I like literally always use his beats for my videos. So I'll probably just go in with like energy. And if I like it, I'll go to screen record, which I'm already doing. After the music is done, I will stop screen recording. I'm not going to use specifically that sound just because I don't want to stop screen recording. So I'm going to go back to iMovie. And I do have a sound already that 
I used in another video so I'll probably just go into recently added and I'll find that so it's right here when you find your music that you want to use there is a plus button there's a play button and then these three dots you do want to just put the plus and then it's gonna be all right there and then your clip so of course you don't want the music to just be playing and then your video so you do want to click on your video your music you want to put detach you do want to put background then after you do that you do want to delete the music part and then your music will be on your video as you can see right here see so easy so yeah that's like what i normally do it has taken me a lot of time to practice and get used to these apps but honestly i just think they're so easy to use i really hope i helped you guys in trying out these different apps but like i said always practice you don't always have to use the same stuff that i'm using i'm pretty sure there's other apps that you can use that are very similar to these ones and they're just so easy to use especially if you're a beginner so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and turn on my bell notification so you can get notified every time i post a new video and if you guys have any further questions feel free to comment them down i'll always answer you guys questions that's my job and i also just want to help you guys if you guys have any more questions um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next one bye